right here. The, the course is right here. So now I'm saying it's gonna be quick, fast. Now you go all the way over there. It has nothing to do with. Say hello. Where we are right here. No, I, I hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna handle that. But I'm, but where are you going with it, Fred? I don't know. It depends. So we're. This is Monday morning. This is our morning. Let me tell you something. Where this stuff morning. Is... <laughs> yeah. Breathe. Inhale like you're smelling the roses. Exhale like you're blowing on the birthday candles. Inhale like you're smelling the roses. Exhale like you're blowing the roses. I'm able to pretend I'm smelling. Well, I'm not. What's Jeez, up, cuz? How you doing? Smelling what? Nothing. What you smelling, Fred? Nothing. <laughs> That's my past life. <laughs> Dead that possum meeting in the moonlight. Ah. Grand. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Wilma Grant is on here. God bless you. Rolanda we had a Omega. half a donut for breakfast. <laughs> right? We had a half a donut. We had a half a donut. So Nakia. we're right in between a hangry and hungry. Yeah. We had half a donut. Half a donut. For breakfast. Half a donut. Half a donut. Who does that? You know who does that? We, we do. We do that because Monday morning we wake up and it's just crazy. Look at Augusta on here. Yeah. Uh, Georgia is on here. God bless you all. Gwen, Michelle just called you. Don't even say it. Just, we got it. We Okay. They don't got it yet, but yeah. we got it. We Listen, got it. God bless you all. Someone said, well, you guys are so good. Oh, Neil, thank you so much. Corey Baker, bless you. We want you to click, tag, and share because it's no better time to speak about this. this What's up, Erica? Erica, what's going on? This specific topic. Specific. Specific. Topic. Not Pacific. This specific, specific topic, topic Tongue twist. has been specific topic. timely. Mm -hmm. The topic in which God's man on deck and I are going to discuss is what? I love you, but I don't like you. Why are you taking off your glasses right now? Because the, the the ring thing. No, because I'm very serious. At yeah. this moment, I love my husband mm -hmm. and he loves me. But right now, he ain't liking me because y'all going to have to learn all that stuff later on. Mm -hmm. So, but on a serious note. But it goes way deeper than that. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. But we're. <laughs> I'm looking up. Never mind him. I'm waiting to hear what you got to say. No, I'm saying, but I was, I was, that topic is, we're going a little heavier than what we're, where we're at. We're well, in the moment. Right. No, we're fine. Yeah. But. I was, yeah, you need to clarify. Clarify. We're fine. We yeah. are fine. We just have a way where we um, resolve. Business. When we right. start but, business, it's yeah. like. It's business. It's business. Business has got us business is business. crazy, but you guys are going to know all of that soon. It's something that we're working on that we're going to share with the world very soon. And so it's like. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, on the real note, there are the couples note. that love each other. Love each other. But they don't like each other. That's serious. Whenever you find a couple, and a, especially a wife, she is always by herself. And we're not, you don't have to be a couple to watch this series. You have to just be a person that you're in a relationship with. Suppose you're with someone that you love, but you really don't like them. Or you just want to be better for the person that you, you know. Better for the person that you're with. That you're going to find. Well, I'm saying, you said it's not just for... It's people. not just for married people. Right, it's but for just, single people also. Yeah, because I know someone that's been with someone for 18 years. No, no, eight years. Yeah, that was a conversation. And we were conversing and she said, I've been with him for eight years and I love him, but I don't like him. Mm. I guess my question is, that's just a strange misnomer. How come you're with someone that you love, but you don't like them? Now, the question is... How much of this is tolerated? Because if you're in a marriage or if you're in a relationship with someone and you love each other and you don't like each other, you basically are tolerating each other. Yeah. So it becomes a matter of tolerating one another. Do you really want to be with someone, Cornelius, thank you. Do you really want to be with someone that you tolerate? Tolerate for the sake of what? 
tolerating just for the sake of holding stuff together that you think going to last, that's not. I mean, you're tolerating a relationship or you're tolerating being together, maybe for children, maybe for business, maybe for your church, maybe for your community. What are you tolerating it for is the question you need to ask yourself. We said that yesterday when um, the Holy Spirit gave it to me and I was preaching yesterday. Some people are not in relationships. You're in a just because. Ooh, that was heavy. And too, so, baby. wasn't it heavy? Yeah. I ain't small enough to think of that. The Holy Spirit gave me that. Holy Ghost to do it. He had his way yesterday. But if you are in something and you are in a just because, that means that there's a reason y'all got together and you didn't get together because of love. There's some people and the reason you got together is because you had children. The reason you got together is because it was the right thing to do. One song that I can't stand, and I think I was telling you this the other day, that stupid song about Jagged Edge, Let's Get Married. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting no younger girl. We might as well do it. Mm -hmm. That's a just because. That's a just because. So stop using that song doing weddings. Please stop using that doing weddings because. Yeah. At least listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics first before you <laughs> walk that out on something that's just flat out demonic. Because he said, we ain't getting no younger. So just let's no go younger. ahead and do it. That's a reason to get married. Ain't nobody, look, nobody will be better. You know, I won't meet anybody else. Right. My life is over. Let's yeah, do it. Right. You know, we done had, <laughs> look, we, I, look, no, wait a minute. And the lyrics go, and I've done it all. And I've done it all. And frankly, right. girl, somebody I've else. Hoard, I've whored across the yeah, nation. I've, I've, look, I've, <laughs> look, you've spread your vajayjay across the nation. And now, and so basically. So let's settle it. Yeah, so let's just go on and do the doggone thing. That's so, that's, that's, that's. Why are you smelling me, Fred? You smell good. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? And the timing is perfect. I'm sorry. God, go to your cage. She always look. She always say, "Why are you looking at it's me like that?" She said, "Why are you looking at me all creepy?" I'm talking to the people. And I'm you're not talking looking. About how that I wasn't smell. creepy. Listen, yes. if that was creepy. Give give a thumbs up if that was creepy. James Hall. <laughs> This weekend, that was a sidebar. James Hall, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So I had to, I had to get that out. James Hall, okay. just for the time. Because I don't know who James Hall is, and I was offended for just a Father split second. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Cast set, it out. Set him free. Listen. Not for real, James. No, I'm back, just playing. Back, back to what we were saying before my husband sniffed me. Such a perv. <laughs> it's the right of a husband. So, like I was saying before, my husband just sniffed me out of the blue. Oh, God. Never get in something and just you're tolerating. Because. Yeah. Just because. Because it can wind up pretty bad. You could get stuck in something because you're tolerating the individual. I, um, recently, I was speaking to a young lady, and she said, um, he's moving out. Yeah. And so, he gave her, listen to this. He gave a dead nine. <laughs> Listen to this. He gave her a dead nine when he moved out of her house. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Why would you have somebody that's giving you a dead nine when they move out of your house and they ain't got no house at all? And then it, 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 it get mad at her because she won't say, no, don't leave. Sometimes you're doing a person a favor when you get to the conclusion that, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. Save them the aggravation and say, you see that door? I'm right going to need then. you to go through it like right now. Right. Because it's clear. That's what I my daughter. Yeah, because it's clear you with me because you ain't got nowhere to go. Sometimes we not call. Not tomorrow, but today. Not today. Today. Yeah. Sometimes you can cause yourself pain. By not coming to the conclusion that I'm no longer going to be tolerated being tolerated. Gosh, that's good. And so ask yourself a question. Are you in a relationship because a person loves you? Or are you in, you know, something just because? The just because means that you can find yourself, forget an entanglement. You can find yourself connected to something that is so toxic. 
until your mind says this is all you can do. And that's and that's where it gets complicated because yeah. you could be in a relationship where you're being tolerated mm -hmm. and your mind will adjust and make toleration normal. Wow. So what we're talking about is you have to now evaluate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the relationship. Mm -hmm. And why do I love this person, but I don't like this person? Mm -hmm. Because your mind will make it normal and it's abnormal. And, and you know what? It, people can see it. Yeah, people can see it. Yeah, y'all just need to just go ahead and tell the yeah, truth, shame and devil. People y'all. can see it. From if the you, outside. They sure can. If you see a couple and the wife is never with him, the husband is never with him, or you see a person in an, they're in a relationship and they're never together, they just get together for a photo op, or you find someone and she just look miserable, yeah. or whenever he's with her, she's like, or whenever they're together, <laughs> what? Do that again, baby. <laughs> for, for real. You could just feel the hatred towards an individual. <sighs> I always tell a man, always look at the person you're connected to. And I tell the woman, look at the person that you're connected to. If you guys look at the person that you're connected to, if she is crying more tears than she is laughing, yeah. you got a problem. If he's a, I even watch couples. I watch a woman's head, her posture, mm -hmm. that when she's with the person she's involved in the relationship with, her posture changes if she's with someone that's yes. just tolerating her. Yeah. She goes like this. Yeah. You know, like she don't even want to, look. you know, she just, you know, I mean, I know that I'm speaking from an example because my father did not like, love her. He didn't like her. And sometimes he would tell my mother, walk, it was a walk, walk in the back of me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Abnormal. That's not normal. When you have someone that says, if you're in a relationship and you're a single woman, someone says, no, I always meet you there. Oh, I always meet you there. Oh, I always meet you there. Hey, Mother Jackson, how you doing? That's my spiritual mother. And if you have someone that says, I always meet you there and you guys are dating and you are never seen in the same space like this, mm -hmm. you got to think about that. Or you guys have not taken one. It kills me that I see a lot of husbands on Facebook. That you ain't got no shots with your wife. Like every time I see you. I'm leaving on that note. You ain't got no, no shots. shots. You look like a single man on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. There's a problem with that. Yeah. And the problem says that for some reason you don't want nobody to know that you have a wife. Or you just want to look like an, you want to look like an opportunity for somebody. Wow, that's fishing, but you but that's they they fishing. Yeah, you got your bait out there. Yeah, they fit. That's bait. Now yeah. now now that's true. I don't even care to take pictures by myself. I always go, come here, husband. You read, being being married again. I would never find myself taking a picture unless my husband is next to me. Because I was going to come here, baby, come here, because I'm not in this by myself. I don't really care. The Bible says, let not that good be evil spoken of. And I'm not giving a joke an, an opportunity. And so it's, it's just the right thing to do as a married couple because the understanding has to be, we get it. But yeah. the other individual, you got to know, don't even try it. See, and and I, I, I have a problem with that. Go ahead, baby. I was going to say, your toleration for one another is projected. People see it. Yeah. It's projected. Do. They do. But love is also projected also. Yeah. So whatever it is, it's projected. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself the question, I love this person. Mm -hmm. Because that love could be because of time. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be because of children. It could be because of religion. Yeah. Yeah. That happens it too. Could, listen, it could be... It could be about a lot of reasons that has nothing to do with your personal happiness. And women are this guilty This is what we're too. talking. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And we're talking about men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, it could, it, it, those, if the reasons that you come up with have nothing to do, to do mm -hmm. with your personal happiness. Wow. We need you to reevaluate. Yeah. Because you could be in something that's just. Because we're not advocating no separation, divorce, none of that. Not we're one. just bringing to light. Mm -hmm. Because what could happen is you could. Uh, rekindle the fire that made you to what you were. Mm -hmm. It may can be rekindled, mm -hmm. but then it, it might it might can't be. 
You know I love you. You said it may can be. That's the Geechee in you, but love. I'm Geechee. You Geechee. You get your toe. That's what I say. Yeah. Geechee, you get your toe. Get your toe. And I love it. But I think even women. I mean, I've seen women and you always see pictures of her. And she's just like, and she's doing, throw some pictures in there, you boo. Please. let You know what I'm saying? I, I, and and I'm a, we're going to challenge couples today. And, 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 and yeah. I'm going to just say it. If you're a married couple, can your profile picture be of both of you together? Yeah. Today. Yeah, quickly do it. If you Today. haven't done it, do it quickly. Today. And we're gonna see how much in love y'all is. Yeah, let's let's post it. Yeah, we're gonna post that because you'll be surprised. People are like, oh, I ain't doing that. If see you... how much love y'all is. Right. I, I think that's Geechee, New York. It's Geechee, New York. Love it is. <laughs> now, this is a test that I give women, single women. Mm -mm. If you're dating someone and he says, Girl, I love you. Girl, I love you. Do the Facebook test. Ooh. The Facebook test is. Take a picture of y'all. Here you go. There you go. Bam. And load it up real quick. If you go, no, 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 no. The number one thing is my job. The number one thing is I really don't want folks in my business. Well, if you're in a relationship of any sort and you guys decided that this is going to be something long lasting, then it is the business of the person that you're connected to to feel that I matter. So a lot of times people get in a relationship and they don't matter because you did not get in a relationship with the understanding that we love each other, but we really like each other. Right. And that's the difference. Yeah. You guys can, we got, you know, we probably talk to so many people mm -hmm. that don't realize what they're saying to they us. They really don't. They love one another. Mm -hmm. The problem is not them loving one another because they love one another because of those deep mm -hmm. Deep connections that they have. Right. Yeah. But they don't like one another. Meaning that, hey, that's like a cousin that, hey, I love you because we blood. Yeah. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Right. But I ain't got to hang out with you. Or you hear people say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Ooh. See, that's, that's, that's another topic. When you say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, there's all type of love. A God for love, Felicia. We can get, go through all of that. But do you love the person that you're in a relationship like a brother or a sister? Yeah. That's not the love in which it was mandated to be. Uh, my, my spiritual parents, our spiritual parents are going mm -hmm. up the timeline. Um, the Coswell, Bishop Coswell and Laura Jackson. And they say something all the time. They've been together for 37 years or something. And he, they always say, this is my best friend. And so we have experience between us. But I found my friend. Yeah. And that's what makes it so authentic is that we really laugh like this. This is not for the camera. We really have a good time. Y'all know, y'all juggles know when y'all see fake. Oh, fake is forced. <laughs> Come on, put your finger up. We leave in church. Some, some on, of y'all on there. We leave in church. Y'all fake. We leave in church. And f go to your cave. <laughs> I feel pettiness coming out, but I'm going to pull it back Would in. Would you like another donut? No. Hold out your hand, Fred. No, the other way. No, the other way. So like I was saying before, <laughs> Apostle started his performing <gasps> shenanigans. Anything that you've got to force is fake. Anything, anything you got to that force. you've got to force. Anything that you got, because love is effortless. Yeah. It's an effortless thing that happens naturally because it's authentic. If you are not authentically in love with someone, it's never going to last. You have to understand something with 1,800 people. Please click and tag and share. Anything that you've got to force, it's not going to fit. Because you're breaking things to make it fit where it is supposed to oh, authentically master itself into the meshing process. Yeah. And sometimes you could be married to someone that you don't like and it comes across everything you do. You could be connected to somebody that even that you're dating. And I got to ask you, why are you doing that? Why are you involved in something that the core of it is? I just don't love you. I like being around you. I like the fact that we can laugh. I like the fact that we can just tell jokes and laugh until one of us loses our bowels. Right. I, yeah, I like the fact that, you know what, we cool. What is wrong with people that you have to um, 
be in something just because. I want to say to someone, one of you, especially single men and women that's on here right now, that you did not see the message from yesterday that my wife uh, preached. Uh, you need to go to her page, go to Unity Church, Unity Church Charlotte, and you need to go to that page and you need to hear that word from yesterday. You need to let yourself take your time because there was so much revelation that came out of it. And so many people got delivered yesterday um, that there are some things that we're not going to be able to say in this segment. We don't have enough time, mm -hmm. but you need to go and check it out. Yeah. I think some people do it because they're lonely. They get involved with You people. need a body, baby. You said yeah, it yesterday. Yeah, you just need a body. That's, and this is the reason why I'm going to go back to the video. Yesterday she talked, she, she spoke about, I need a body. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I'm I'm lonely, I need a body. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old, I need a body. Um my time clock is about I need a body, you know. Um so many reasons why people just start needing a body and not looking for the right person. Mm -hmm. And they're set up for a person because they're a body for space, mm -hmm. but they're not the intended the one that God gave for you. Right. It's like um I have a problem with couples who are married but sleep in separate bedrooms. Ooh. I speak from that experience because I came from a household of domestic violence. Y'all what's up, man? Did you have a nap today? I'm, I slept good. You need one. I don't need no nap. That's why she trying to put me to sleep because she said some stuff. It, 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 but it's true. I saw my mother stay in the bedroom and my father stayed in the living room. room. But they were married for 37 years. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes you have to ask, how did we get here? Yeah. Or oh, they're did in we, the living room. Right. And you in the room. Right. Did we get here? Look at past the story. He knows my parents very good when they, good when they were alive. It, it means that I don't like you enough to share space with you while we sleep. Yeah. Um, I remember my mother used to say to me, now this is, this is my truth. She said, whenever your dad gets in the bed with me, his pajamas cling to my skin. It's like I feel like I'm being attacked. There's a level of trust that is broken because you don't like each other. It's a reason why you don't like each other. Never mind love. I don't want nothing to happen to you. But there's a reason why I don't like you. Is it because they've done something, said something, put you in a place of um, harm's way? Because now I am stuck. God, yeah. I'm stuck with you. Just because. So if you with someone and you love them, ask yourself, am I stuck for a reason? Am I stuck for the children? Am I stuck because I have nowhere to go? Am I stuck because financially I can't make it on my own? Am I stuck because, because the dangers of this, the dangerment of it is when you're with someone that you're just existing. Yeah. You're with someone and you just tolerate it. And I hate it when couples say, look, you go your way and I go mine. But then you come together and you eat together, maybe or maybe not. It's so many married couples that we know that are married but single. Y'all don't do nothing together. Y'all don't eat dinner together. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all don't do nothing. You might come together to knock each other's back out. And ain't no love in that. It's like boom, boom, boom. If you ain't get it, too bad. Oh, well. And so I, I, I have to ask you, why are you allowing yourself to be a dumping ground? Because when you're with someone and you don't like them, ultimately, that's what it is. I don't want nothing to happen to you. You're a good person. And then you open up a realm of people to fill needs that the person you're connected to was supposed to fulfill. So Why? you're intimate now. Your intimacy is not with your husband or your wife. Your intimacy is with your best friend. Right. You know. Yeah, and mothers, that's, that happens. Yeah. And all of these other people Feel that, that you void. now let into your marriage. Yeah. But one thing I wanted to say about being separate, whether that's sleeping separate or whatever, living a separate life, you oftentimes at that point begin. It, it's harder for you guys to come back together mm -hmm. because you have done. You've been separated so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been separated so long to the point where you've been separated to the point where you substitute your partner. Well, what do I mean by that? You've been separated so long until you have separated yourself 
from your partner. That means that you will bring in a substitute. A substitute could be your mom. A substitute could be a best friend. A substitute could be your, your whoever it is that makes you laugh because at home there's too much pain. Whoever it is that makes you laugh because the person that was supposed to be part of your happiness because you're happy yourself, right? You get to the place of where you no longer want them involved in your life because now the substitute has been the replacement. Hmm. Whether well, it's your mother, your father, or whomever. Right. Not important right now. Baby. And so, oh, that's the census. That is very important. Not important right now. Baby. Oh, right that's now. That's all I was saying. Okay, you're right. We can go online and do it. Thank you, Kylie. I have us. Okay, please vote. So, <laughs> <laughs> what we're saying is everybody's got to take inventory today. Yeah. They've got to take inventory that what is your substitute? In your marriage, what is your substitute? Now, this is going to hurt, but it's going to help you. In your marriage, has your substitute been your children? Have your substitute been your grandchildren? What is your substitute? Because so many substitutes there is an emotional disconnection. That's yeah. why you don't like each other. And it feels time. It feels the time of the day in mm -hmm. where days go, months go, years go, and all of these substitutions help to make it seem like yeah. a happiness in, in the togetherness yeah. when it's really not there. Yeah. When it's really you guys have learned to fit in this space. You've learned to exist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of live in love. Yeah. And you've created an illusion. Yeah. You, you've created an illusion of family. Um, you know how it is with the Stepford Wives, right? They created an illusion of a perfect family or perfect household. But the reality was they were just... No Rrr! emotions were right. there. No right. No emotions were there. And so in a good marriage, in a healthy marriage, emotions are always displayed. I want to say this before Meaning we Meaning happy go. ones, sure. Both of us are divorcees. We sure so are. So let, let, let us say this right here. Yeah. Um... We are intentional about every moment of our relationship mm -hmm. because of our learning, have, having to exist in pre-relationships yeah. because we wanted to be good at what we say mm -hmm. we gave ourselves to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're listening to us, it's not because we are somehow feel like, you know, we have apprehended perfection. Mm -hmm. It is because we are intentional in happiness, mm -hmm. intentional in touching, mm -hmm. intentional mm -hmm. because we have we have made it the decision that happiness is first. Yeah. Not children, mm -hmm. not parents, mm -hmm. not church, yep. not ministry, not none of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're first. Right, right. And I think people have to understand that once you went through hell. Once you went through hell. And God give you a little piece of heaven, you like it. And so I want everyone to please take note of your life. Are you just being tolerated? Never be in anything when you just tolerate it. Yeah. Because it's not going to end well for you. And when you're tolerated, I'm going to be honest with you, you do become a doormat. Mm. When you're tolerated, it really means that someone has need of you. And not the way that you need them to want you. It simply means that I don't love you. There is a need specifically that I have you in my life. And nine times out of ten is connected to something selfish. That they ultimately can handle themselves. But because they know you might be the one that love them. They use you. When you are tolerated in anything. The ultimate goal is. Is to take everything that they can from you. That allows you uh, to thrive with yeah. their presence not being with you any longer. Yep. And you got to say to yourself, I love me enough to not be tolerated. tolerated. But at some point they say you're to be celebrated. You got to celebrate it yourself in order for somebody to come to your party. Which simply means I've got to take inventory of my guest list. And if you can't come with streamers and balloons and make me happy and realize that I'm a gift with this whole thing then we ain't partying. You have to understand that, why am I doing this? There's some people right now, you're saying, because you said, what, what did Jada and Will said that demonic stuff? Bad marriage for life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Don't bad marriage, that. bad marriage for life. No. In other words, they were saying at the end of that entanglement video mm -hmm. is that we're so bad at it, but because we have children, yeah, and because we have our name together, right, and because we built so much stuff together, right, we're just going to have a bad marriage for life, right? No, the that devil, devil is, is a liar. liar. You can't, you can't, you can't put that as an objective because you both uh, are married. You, you you even know before you get married if the person likes you or not. I like what somebody said. Somebody said, I love me more. Right. You, gotta, you have to love you more. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can say is I found out after I came out of my situation that I really wasn't important to me. Wow. Wow. So the, so the other individual was more important. Everything that's, about... That's not just the, uh, And not just the other individual. Everything. It, 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 I, I didn't matter. So... Mm -hmm. I never evaluated happiness mm -hmm. because I didn't really know what it was because, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. my tolerating had become, made my made me abnormal. Okay. Right? Okay. So, whatever, you begin to live in this whatever state of, of toleration and existing. So, do you feel that that's where a lot of people are? They're like, whatever. I had one young lady tell me Friday, she said, this is her This is her truth. I'm too old to start over again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too old. And so I have to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Is that an excuse? Or is that fear? It's fear. Most that's definitely all it fear. Is. Yeah. 2,000 people under yeah. the sound of our voice. That's fear. Fear for men and fear for women. Nobody. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I love this woman right here. Thank you, Stuka, lady. I can't think in my ever and nowhere in the crevices of my mind mm -hmm. entertaining another person in the rest of my life. Oh, me too, Stuka. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, it's, it's hard. And I said all that to say, yes, it takes courage to start again. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but that's why with me having the courage to start again, I'm also intentional mm -hmm. every moment. Yeah. The, the mistakes that I made, whether it was not being honest or with myself or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. I won't do any of that stuff no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want to have a healthy, I want us to have a healthy, I want us to have a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I want us to have a healthy relationship, but I also want to be healthy. So I have to ask you a question, baby. I thank you for that because I do feel the same way, but you already know that. I have to ask you a question. When people exist mm -hmm. in their mind, they have fear. Yeah. And the fear says that I can't do better. I know I'm not being, I, I know that he loves me, but they really don't like me. Would you want someone to love you enough to make sure that you have what you need to succeed in life? Because marriage and relationships is, is supposed to be about the other person. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you a question. When you just say, I'll just deal with it. 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 How does that work in a person's mind that says that I will deal with the abuse? I'll deal with the cheating. I'll deal with the beating. I'll deal with the young lady that I spoke to. She pays every bill in the house, take care of his child, and she is tired, and he still mistreats her. And I have to say, see, I don't, but, I don't but, think he likes you. But that's a Never e mind, love. That, that's easier to see and to walk out of because of the abuses and those type things. Okay. What if you're in a situation where? You know, it ain't no outside people yet, but you are in a relationship with somebody and you guys are just really not connected. There is no real connection when it mm -hmm. comes to the things that you uh, deem important. Mm -hmm. There is nothing really there when you look at the intimacy mm -hmm. as far as you two. The only thing it is, y'all known for being together. Mm -hmm. But as far as what you are called to do, those things, mm -hmm. it's harder to walk out those situations. Why? Because for one, you don't have a valid excuse in man's eyes. Okay. Okay. And okay. this when you come into a relationship, because a lot of times when we're done talking about the church, mm -hmm. you know, it has to be. It has to be a, a, a fornicate or it has to mm -hmm. be some type of adultery. But mm -hmm. what if you ain't got that? Mm hmm. What if what if that ain't what if that ain't happening? Okay, so that so biblically, it, 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 uh, uh, 
the bottom line, if you cheat on your spouse, that was a biblical grounds for yeah. divorce. That's an exit. That's a right. that's a that's a pew, I'm out of here. Right. So what happens when you don't have a person who is cheating, but they're abusive? That's a yeah. No, that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah. So you saying, you know, so I think the Bible even says husbands don't be harsh with your wife. Anything that is predicated that goes against the guidelines of having a loving, healthy marriage, I believe God got a problem with. Yeah. And I think that some pastors will say, never divorce, stay in it and stay miserable, suffer for Christ's sake. No, they're talking about, and that's what I, it kills me and because you can't take that. You can't, you no, can't, you can't take that. They're preaching that wrong. You can't take it's it. saying that if you are going to be a believer of any sort, you are going to suffer because of the sake of Christ. I'm going to say something. Okay, here we go. It Let's might be a little ugly. Oh, Lord. But how many pastors do you know when you see them, they actually look like they're together? Yeah. That's they true. actually look like they're one. I'm saying that because you can't take advice from somebody that already look like they stuff broken. Wow. Okay. I'm just saying. Well, you just said it, Pastor. You, you just said it. You're supposed to, the Bible says no man hate his own flesh. And hold up. In these, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry because we on the subject. Also, Single pastors. Oh, Lord. Now you had to go there for I'm that. just saying, if you got a, uh, your pastor's single, uh, and they ain't been good at no relationships, as a matter of fact, they, they divorce is questionable, because you might be under, then watch the advice you take for them. Don't give me what the Bible say. Tell me what you did. I, I think Michelle was talking about how she was watching a whole lot of pastors who were. Mm -hmm. See, um, I was trying to stay away from them. I was no, trying to wasn't. be good. No, you weren't. I was trying to be no, good. No, you wasn't. And they were talking about how they like their single life and they like being single and they don't know. What they say? They like their single they life? They like their single life. And They're they, living the single, single, single life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all You talking about pastors now? Huh? We go. Before we were so rude. Y'all know we're in the new millennium where pastors get on there and exalt the single life. But it's true. It's like some of them like the smorgasbord's life. They like the But it is the smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. They have a smorgasbord or what? Yeah. Men or women or whatever it is that they choose. And so <laughs> First Timothy 4 says that he should be subject to one wife. That's the word. Mm -hmm. However, I think that some first ladies are tolerated. Mm-hmm. I got something on these. <laughs> I do. I think some of them. Because um, he like, because he really like men. Baby, I I'm just playing. Go to your cage. We're going to get out of here. I think that sometimes, I think sometimes Ooh. I had one first lady said Come that on, she Bishop. just likes uh, the lifestyle of being just like Greenleaf. But I think if you don't like each other, it's going to show up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to show up whether it's you're trying to hide up. it, it's brush it underneath up. the... No. Okay. Hide it, <laughs> brush it underneath the rug. It is going to show up. If you're in a relationship and you know somebody doesn't like you, you know it. Yeah. If you're in a marriage and you, your, your spouse doesn't like you, they know it. And I'm going to tell you something. They're mean. Yeah. I've seen women be very mean to really that good husbands. That, you know, but, just mean. But I've got pissed off because I've seen men that spoke any kind of way to their wives. Yeah, yeah. And that were mean to their wives. And, yeah. and my brother. Yeah. If you really like men, just go ahead on call it what it is. Yeah. And go ahead on be with man, be what you want to be. Like the clumps. <laughs> Stop being mean to that lady. You don't want the lady. That's why you mean. No, you don't want the no, lady. But, but no, but that's true. Sometimes you, you want to wear what she wearing. Well, hold on now, Fred. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, we going to be fighting this week. You know somebody going to come to you and they going to want to. They be like, yo, we going to fight. They better be ready. Core on deck. We got core on deck. Core on deck. <laughs> We better learn to fight ourselves. No, but seriously, with all jokes aside, Ooh. I think sometimes when a man is real mean to a woman, yes. you got to ask why. Now, why I'm a, are you so mean, brother? Now, wait a minute. I'm going to do something. I'm going to tell you my own personal story. 
My father was mean to my mother. I mean, he would beat her. He would, my mother was five feet. He would pick her up and he would throw her from one end of the room to the other. And he was mean. Well, we did some research and we found out, of course, the hurt people, hurt people syndrome. He hated women. And it wasn't because he lived this, this secret lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It was because his mother gave him away. Mm -hmm. And they had, she had eight children. My father was the only one that she gave up mm -hmm. and gave him to my aunt. And the aunt that raised my dad didn't have sons. She only had daughters. So my dad was forced to wear girl shoes to school because back then she couldn't afford to take care of him, but she didn't want him to be out in the street. So yeah. he developed a hatred. Sometimes it's a deep seated hatred that may not have anything to do with you. That's why counseling is needed. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do that. You're right. She's Sometimes right. the hate they have for you, and it doesn't give them a pass. Yeah. But with all that game, let's get an understanding with 2,100 people looking at us. Sometimes you got to get to the core root of why that person is so mean to you. Okay. Maybe they didn't get over something that happened long time ago between the two of you. We don't know. And it could be that they just flat out want to have their way. That spirit comes from somewhere. Now, it comes from somewhere. It comes from somewhere. What, did you know that sometimes you could be with somebody that got an IEP? He had an IEP when he was a kid. She had an IEP. She was going, what? She was, yeah, I ain't throwing no IEP. shade. I ain't throwing no shade. They might have been in special ed. You don't mm -hmm. know and never told you. They may suffer from something. They, You know, they was probably always going to the principal's office. However, whatever it is marriage is a collision of two histories yes. and you got to ask yourself Say that, that again baby marriage is a marriage is a collision of two histories marriage is a collision of, of two, two histories. histories you've got to ask yourself what brought you to this place yeah and i'm gonna give you a sidebar if a person is mean while you date them skirt skirt run because believe people when they tell you who they are when you first meet them i could tell y'all a story I knew I shouldn't have did that. I knew it. I said I shouldn't have got involved. And the signs were there. But just because somebody wanted me to marry this in the room, I did. I, I made so many mistakes. I thank God he gave me my Eureka now. This is what you see. Authentic Eureka. God had to do this. But we got to work. Because my picker was broken. And half of us are picker. broken. The picker. Your I'm very calling a picker. Your that picker. means the little things that you say, okay, this is the right one, this is the right one, they wind up being the wrong one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying, never get involved with somebody that just tolerates you. And they don't love you, you in a situation called just because. Just because we've been together for a long time. Just because we got kids. Just because we got businesses together. Just because we got a car in, the, in our name. You're not in a relationship, you're in a just because. And just because ain't going to get you nowhere and you are not going to be successful not in the be relationship happy. because it be takes happy. two people to make it work. We got to get out of here. What's All right. Those peppers? We love you guys. Huh? What's those peppers? Pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis. I pepper, feel like some pepperoncinis. Pepper, pepper we have to go. This is Pastor Jamila Young of Gooden. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Fred Gooden, God's man on deck. Marriage is a collision of two histories. That was hot. I thank God for it. I think I heard, I'm not going to take credit. I think I heard Bishop Jake say that. It's all right. Years ago. So I, I'm never, I don't take people's credit. I don't do that. It's all right. But I want you guys he to understand, if you guys, please, if a person doesn't like you, you feel it. Yeah. You know it. If you're tolerated, mm -hmm. then you better say, I can't do this no more. I ask the hard questions. And even, you know, uh, you know, we have our time. We talk and, and uh, even... Uh, it may sound funny mm -hmm. about some men that do have some of you bishops, apostles, and such that have. You got an alternative lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You need to make a. You need to go ahead on and make a decision because you have people's lives in your hand, mm -hmm. and they're following that. Mm -hmm. And one day you're gonna be responsible when you get before the God that you preach. You know, for the, some of the things you told people to do, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. and I'm not being funny. Yeah. You know, somebody seriously. said and, and people say, well, if you divorce and you marry again, you're an adulteress. I oh, almost I almost I almost became like that man that says you y'all yeah. better get your side. Them, yeah. them, them you know demons. the thing about them people. I preach is so wrong. You know the the thing about the people that send oh, send these God. types of things. Me and my wife are going to look at their 
profile, and they really look bad. Yeah. They really look bad. You t- it, 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 it's so stupid. You say yeah. if you divorce. Yeah, they look bad. And you marry somebody else, you consider an adulteress. Yeah. Y'all yeah. not even reading the scripture yeah. properly. You're unhappy. And and the, the problem is you just don't want anybody else to be happy. No, and then someone told another girl, she came from she came to the church, she said, they told me to be reconciled to my first husband. Her first husband beat her to no extent, knocked out her front teeth. Her whole row of teeth were forced because he knocked her teeth out. She pulled up her shirt. She had about 35 stitches where he stabbed her. And she said a pastor told her, go back and reconcile because that's your first husband. Let me tell you something. This is what's dangerous for some of you jokers that think y'all are real preachers. Interpretation without exegesis is just somebody talking stupid out the side of their neck. Mm. You must exegete, you must do some critical interpretation and search of what that is biblical history, that's moment, that's everything that goes with that text before you tell somebody that to go back to their first husband. That was stupid. Yeah, and this man was in jail because he attempted to kill her. And and, and a pastor told her, you are to reconcile to your first husband. I'm like, yeah. See, that's when the hood come out of me. The little yeah. bit I got. Yeah. The hood just came out. And I was just like, yo, weird. What if that was your daughter? Oh, it, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Jail will be my ministry. Are you? That's crazy. Just, I, I don't even Tell like to talk about that. scriptures. I, 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 don't, yeah. I, I don't like to talk about people who misinterpret scriptures like that because they, make, they put people's lives in danger. Because they're being stupid. Nothing in the Bible. Nothing. The there's not one scripture in the Bible that's just face value. Yeah. You can't. You got to. And then you got to read it in the context. Every scripture has body to it. Right. But they also read it in the era in the context in which it was written. I'm in the era. And so it's the era. Because <laughs> they are in era. Let's go, baby. They, All right. We getting hangry. I'm already hungry. We love you guys. We love you guys. We want you to be happy. Be happy. We want y'all happy. We want you to have successful marriages. Yep. Successful relationships. relationships. That's right. So happy, healthy, and whole. You might be with somebody that... You guys have just come to a moment where you're tolerating one another, but it can be it's worked dangerous. out. Yeah, do something about it. But both you got to want it. Both of you got to want you, it. You can't do it. One, yeah. uh-uh. Both of you have to want it. And if he don't want it, if she don't want it, somebody else will want you eventually. But first, fix yourself before yeah. getting involved with anybody else. Let's see we got to go. Let's see some couples' pictures online. Love, love you. you guys. Yep. If you're married, I need you to switch your profile pictures to a married yeah. couple. If yeah. you're happy, if you ain't happy, just. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. Clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. Remix. If you're happy.